I woke up at like 5.30 this morning and my feet were just insanely itching and I didn't know why and I looked at them. This is what I saw. And that's kind of what, what they look like before they get on the ass feet. And then they kind of swell up and get itchy. They almost look like blisters. Like this one looks like a blister. That might just be a blister. I don't know. But they were just driving me nuts and were really itching. And I was trying to see if I had anything I could put on them that would stop. And I found some aloe. And I put that on and stopped it for a few minutes. But then I'd have to put more on every few minutes. So I had wasn't working, and so I'm just like, you know what? I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna go downstairs and see if anyone's awake. And luckily, they were. My husband parents were awake, and unfortunately, neither of them speak much English, and so we they understand a few words, but um, that we can't have a conversation in English. So I we had a translator app on. Kassan's phone, and so we were trying, I was trying to explain it to her, and she was trying to, um, explain back to me, they gave me some medicine that I put on it, it stopped the itching, which is good, um, and, um, and then she told me that I'm going to go to see the school doctor today, um, so hopefully it's nothing bad, it's really not, like, debilitating or disabling disability, I, whatever, um, it's not keeping me from doing anything, um, I mean, I told John yesterday, I've been in Japan for, like, a week, and I'm losing my English already, um, <laughs> but it's not terrible, it just, it just really bad, and it's kind of gross looking, so, whatever, I'm gonna have a good time, anyway, I don't, I'm not gonna let this stop me, but, my hypothesis is, is it's these evil demon socks I bought yesterday at the dollar store. I think I might be allergic to like a dye in them or something because I put a pair on yesterday and I think they probably did this to me. So if I do find out that's what they did this to me, I plan on burning them and throwing the ashes in various places and the evil demon socks. But so, ho hopefully everything goes well, wish me luck, um, I'm not worried, it'll be okay, so, alright, have a good day everyone, bye! And so, I went to the school this morning, and I saw the school nurse before first period, and she's, um, she was able to decide right pretty quick that I needed to see a doctor, um, <laughs> which was disappointing, I was hoping it was just something she could give me something for that would just stop the itching, because I could deal with the rest of it, just the itching was driving me nuts, and she didn't really have anything to give me, um, cause, and she, she did have something, but she wasn't sure if it would make it better or worse, so, <laughs> um, I just didn't have anything. And then, I just kind of dealt with it all morning, and I was really feeling ups- I was down, I was- I was pretty sad and upset, because the trip had been going really, really well, and it was- this has been a dream of mine for so long, and it was finally coming true, and everything was going really well, and then this happened, and it wasn't expected, and I was just kind of like, why me, why me, but, um, it got a little bit better as the day went on, but by lunchtime, I noticed it was starting to spread to my hands, and there were little dots, I don't know if you're in there, and then this thing, it's like a big one on my ring finger, so I think it's trying to marry me, whatever this rash is, but whatever. <laughs> um... It, but it, that was annoying when I saw that, because I knew it was still getting worse, and 
that didn't really help things. Um, but after lunch, uh, it got a little bit better. I was talking with people a lot more, and they just kind of kept my mind off it. And the itching wasn't bugging me as much because my mind was off it, and I was able to kind of have fun again and stuff. And so things were good after that. Today was a preparation day for school festival, for the culture festival we have next week. And so all we did all day was prep for that. And so I would, there was a lot of sitting around. Um, so uh, it was, you had a lot of time to kind of think about things and that didn't help fishing. Um, But then, after school was over, we went home, and we, um, once we got to the house, I called my chaperones and just let them knew, let them know what was up, and that we were going to the hospital and stuff, and, uh, then we went to the hospital, it was a bit of a drive, and we got there, and we had to wait around for a little bit, and once we, it was pretty busy, it's not like, it wasn't what I expected, it wasn't like an American hospital, it was more like an American doctor's office, it was pretty small, um, it was basically a doctor's office, not a hospital, um, and we, once we got called in, um, I showed the doctor, and he talked with my health parent, uh, with my house mom for a little bit, and I had no idea what was going on, and then he prescribed some stuff, and we waited around for a little bit, and they gave us the medicine, um, then we went home, and they gave me a cream to put on it, um, and the morning and at night, and that, I put it on this evening, and it helped a lot, it didn't really stop the itching, but it made it look a lot better right away, um, you can kind of see for it looked a lot worse. So progress, which is good. Um, and they also give me these pills that I take once a day after dinner. So hopefully the medicine will do the trick, and I'm really hoping it's gonna work fast. After that, we got to go to Conveyor Belt Sushi for dinner, which was really exciting. Um, it was really fun, different than I expected. Um, we all sat at the table, and then there was the Conveyor Belt thing, and you just took what you wanted off of it. After you ate the sushi, you had your little plate, and you, there was a little thing you dropped it down into. Um, that was on the end of the table, and it took your plate away for you, and when you dropped it in, after you dropped so many in, there was a little screen that was had different games on it, basically, so one of them was like a wheel that spun, another was a fishing one, if it won the game with that one, um, the plate you just put in, then you got a little prize from a little vending machine thing at the table, um, so that was cool. Um, and I got a little, like, apple juice keychain thing, from charm, um, it was really good sushi, uh, and then I had a mango for dessert, that was really good, um, and there was one kind I tried, I don't know what it was, but my host family kind of all thought, expected me to think it was gross or something, I'm not sure exactly what was going on, I think they were kind of, they, I think they kind of read my facial expressions wrong, and they thought I didn't like it, and they asked me how it was, and I'm like, oishi, which means delicious, and they were kind of like, oh, you're lying, and the, so the whole night they were teasing me about it, and they'd mention it, and I'd be like, oishi, and they'd be like, no, you're lying, so they still don't believe me, but it was really good. Anyway, and then after we came home from that, um, I played the game that I still don't know the name of that I played last night, um, with my host, my younger host brother, um, and I lost terribly. And then I took my bath, 
and we watched TV for a little bit, and now here I am. So, um, tomorrow we are going to Hikone, which should be exciting, and I get to sleep in tomorrow, which is also good and exciting. So I'm really hoping that when I wake up, my, this thing, this rash is better, um, because I really don't want to have to be, like, scratching myself as I walk around Hikone, um, and I'm trying to keep myself from itching, but I know it's probably obvious that I was during this video, so, anyway, um, until next time, oh yeah, see me in a